Hello everyone, it's Frankie Day here, back again on YouTube. Okay fellas, this is update build report number three for Greg Huss from World One Biplane Group Build. Okay, right here uh, on my RE8 reconnaissance plane. Uh, I've got all the cape and airplane struts all, all together. They've dried overnight and uh, placed the top wing on there. It, has a, it uses a jig for alignment white dried 24 hours and uh, when it dried within 24 hours I went and gave about three coats of primer and the airplane's ready now to be finished using a uh, green drab and light buff on the undersides and add decals and rigging and the remainder of the parts and she's good to go she's finished but I got a little long ways to go for it's done folks so Tomorrow I'm going to start on the paint schedule on it, start to finish, start to do the the paint schedule on it, then when the paint dries or anything like that, I'm going to start doing some of the rigging before I put the top wing on. And in some parts of the rigging of the ship, the wing has to be on before you uh, complete the rigging. The wing is not glued on here, folks. It's just laid on top of here. It fits very nicely. As you can see that the holes here have it all pre-drilled a little bit, opened up, a little cleaned up. So that the struts will fit. One thing I like about struts like this on these Airfix kits, folks, is, is um, they're easy to adjust to add to your wings instead of using the bogey system. The bogey system is that you gotta fill in between the bogies right there where they fit at before you uh, before it's uh, the airplane's been painted. In other words, if you paint the whole other wing like that and apply your struts last, you're gonna see where it's attached to, and that takes away from the model. So it's best to go ahead and uh, apply, put your bogies on there and, and fill and, and, uh, and sand and fill and go ahead and paint the bottom of your wing and just kind of touch up along with your struts. But these right here, since don't have a bogey system on here, just regular conventional wing and cave and struts on there. So they go inside there, it's easy to adjust. So as you can see right here, folks, that the uh, struts have been on there, they're, they're all ready to go. And once the, once the airplane has been completely uh, finished and painted and decaled, I'm going to go ahead and add all the rigging on it at this stage right here. But the completing the rigging of the uh, airplane up to the adjacent struts, up to your on top of your on your on your king post. Where, where it fits to the uh, ailerons and also to the uh, strength of the wing itself. And it, what it does more or less pulls a warp or put a warp in the wing for trimming only. So this thing has got a lot of rigging on it. We incorporated one set of second scale, which you diffuse wire again is a good candidate for rigging material. And we'll turn around a little bit, folks, give a little perspective right here so you can see how she looks. And uh, she's looking pretty good. We'll zoom in a little bit. And we'll take a look at it here, folks. It's all in fill. Not very much filler on here. The only filler that was used on the, on the kit itself was the ejector pin marks on the bottom and the top of the bottom wings. And uh, that's about it. And also uh, how the, the bottom wing fits the fuselage. I'll carefully turn this over a little bit, folks, so I can be able to uh, see how that filler fills in pretty good right there. As you can see, it's all filled in nice and smooth. That's what it is. I hate seams, fellas. It's the only filler that was used right through this area here, a little bit on the joints. Other than that, folks, that's about as far as I got in this update right here. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and. Um, let this thing dry, with, let the uh, primer dry. Tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and start painting the green drab on it. I'm going to start doing some uh, also pre-shading on it too as well. I should have this thing done probably by the end of next week. And i got to use my uh, 50 Yonkers 52. i got to get the uh, undercarriage installed that and the wings in installed. And i got a little work to do to complete that on that thread. And tomorrow I'll be starting on the Arizona, folks. Uh, tomorrow's my day off. 
and uh, so I got a lot of time. So I get off work, folks. I'm so damn tired. I don't feel like doing all the builds I'm supposed to be doing and stuff. And and take building models and work that job I got. It's kind of taking the great sales out of me. And man, my age shouldn't have to work like that, but he got to nowadays. So anyway, folks, I'm really enjoying this uh, build. It's a good kit. I highly recommend anybody getting a Serifix kit. It's an old, old, old kit. And uh, for an old, old kit, for a second release in the Airfix 172nd scale range, uh, it, it stands up very quite nicely even today, as, as old as this thing is. So I like them old, folks. There's something about them that they bring back a lot of memories to me. I always remember I used to live at and everything when I first got the kit and stuff. And, and they make very good, excellent modeling subjects, too, these little one, World War I jobs. See, something about them when that small scale like that, they just, uh, they're very admirable. As long as your eyeballs can hold out and cut the mustards, what the hey, you know? Nothing wrong with that. But I'm not going to make a habit of building too many small ones like this, so I'm going to get back to my general big build. <laughs> okay, guys, this is Rambo. Time to get off here right now. So tomorrow I should have an update video of my Arizona for sure. Uh, I took a look at my Arizona, how much I got on it, and uh, so far I was on the funnel. It was the last uh, sub-assembly that I'd done on it. It needs to be primed and uh, painted. Then the rest of the assembly, uh, such as the boat cranes, will be added on there. And I'll start doing the rest of the, the sub-assemblies on it, the painting, and uh, as, as it goes by. And that'll be that, folks. So I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. May God bless and happy modeling. We'll catch you on the next video. So tomorrow I should have a, a video from Arizona. And probably about as late as maybe as Tuesday or Wednesday. Of next week, I should have another video in REA. Uh, the rigging will be added probably by then, and uh, the final paint schedule will be all done, and that'll complete the build. Okay, guys, once again, time to get up here, folks. Happy Molly, and God bless everybody, and and uh, listen to Mama now. She'll take your glue away. <laughs> See ya, fellas. You guys take care, man. Bye, boys. <laughs>